Welcome back guys, my name is Muffley, and today I'll be showing you how to get the police officer belt onto any outfit, as well as a body armor vest onto any outfit, such as the Gorka suit here, I have the vest over top of it. Now do be aware that doing the glitches to get these items onto your clothing pieces will delete all of your current saved outfits, so you'll have to remake any saved outfits that you currently have. Also, you will need to delete your second character if you have one already. So if you do have a secondary character, go ahead and delete that character before you start this. Now before you start this, make sure you have an outfit on that you want the belt or vest on. Once you do, hit the start button and go to online. Go down to creator mode. Once it loads you in, click on create a race. From there, click on land race, the third one down. Once it loads you in, you'll have to go through the standard prompts. Click on Race Details. Just create a title, it doesn't matter what it is. Then create a description, again it doesn't matter what it is. After that, just take a picture and it doesn't matter what you take a picture of, just capture the sky if you want. Back on out of that, go down to Route Type. Set the route type to point to point. Once you click point to point, back out, go to placement, and place trigger, and then click on select trigger location. You can place a trigger location anywhere as long as it's an open area on a road. From there, back on out, and go to lobby camera. Again, just take a picture of anything, it doesn't really matter. Once you take a picture, you can back on out of it, and go down to checkpoints. You can now begin to set your checkpoints. I recommend setting the checkpoints to at least 0.8 to 1 miles long. Once you have all your checkpoints placed, you can back on out to the Race Creator tab. From there, just click on Test, and we're going to test the racetrack. You don't have to do anything fancy here other than literally just testing the race out. At the very end of the race, you'll have this title screen pop up. All you have to do is just click OK. Now once you load back in, save the racetrack. Once it saves, you can just press OK. From there, go down to exit, and then just exit out. It'll load you back into the creator main menu. Once you're here, hit start, go over to the online tab, and then choose your character. Just choose OK when the screen pops up. Now it's going to load you into your character selection screen. Like I said before, if you already have a second character made, you're going to have to delete it before you start. Now once you're here, all you have to do is go over to your secondary character. And all we're going to do is choose to edit this secondary character. Once you select that character, it's going to prompt you if you want to copy the rank of your current character in slot 1. Just push yes. Now it'll take you to the screen where you can edit your character. You don't have to do anything here other than just make sure it is a female. Just click save and continue, and you name your character whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Once you save and continue, it'll take a picture of your character and then proceed to load you online. For me, I had to go through the Diamond Resort cutscene, so if you get that, don't worry, the glitch still works. Once you load in, hit the start button to look at your map. If you don't see any clothing store icons, all you have to do is find a new lobby by going to online and then find a new session. Now once you load back in, hit the start button to look at your map. If you see the clothing stores are there, just go to the nearest clothing store near you, it doesn't matter which one. Once you get to the clothing store, head on over to the pants section. Once here, go to the sports pants tab. Purchase the spotted muscle pants. Jumping over to the top section under the work jackets, go down to the peach camo closed field, make sure it's the closed one. Still in the top section, go to the gun running t-shirts, and at the very bottom of the list, purchase the blue digital t-shirt. Make sure it is the t-shirt and not the rolled sleeve one. Now head on over to the shoe section, and under the sneakers, purchase the pink plain high tops. Now go over to the accessories area, and under the gloves tab, purchase the light woodland tactical gloves. Now once you have all those clothing items equipped, make sure you don't have any necklaces, piercings, or any extra sort of items on your character. Once you do, you can save your outfit as a temporary save. Save the outfit in the top slot, it doesn't matter what you name it. Now once you have it saved, head back to the top section and go to the gun running t-shirts. 
Now purchase the blue digital rolled tee. Now we're going to save the outfit but as a completely different outfit. Go to the bottom save slot and save it in that one. Make sure not to overwrite your previous saved outfit. Once you have it saved, hit start, go to online and we're going to go back to the creator mode. It'll ask you are you sure you want to quit, just push ok. Now once it loads you into the creator mode, we're going to go down to low creation, then go to saved. Load up the saved race that we made in the very beginning. Once it loads in, we're going to test the race again. All you have to do is just complete the race, you don't have to do anything else. Once you've completed the race, just push OK. Once it loads back up, it'll take you to the race creator menu. Instead, hit start, go to online, and then go down to choose character. It'll ask you, are you sure you want to quit? Just click OK. Now it's going to load into the character selection screen. Now go over to your secondary character that you were just on. We're going to delete this character. It'll prompt you and ask you, are you sure you want to delete this character? Hit yes. And then it'll make you type in the word delete to confirm the action of deleting the character. So go ahead and just type it in. Now it's going to bring you back to the same exact character selection screen, except you'll see that your secondary character is obviously gone. Now from here, we're just going to return to Grand Theft Auto 5. This will now take you back to the story mode of Grand Theft Auto. Once you're here, hit start, go on over to the online section, and go down to play GTA Online. Then just push go and then it'll ask you are you sure just push ok. This will obviously now take you back to GTA Online. Once you get back you can go to any type of clothing store or your wardrobe at your apartment or house and go to your saved outfits. If done correctly you'll see that you have the two saved outfits that you did on your secondary character. If you have the saved outfits you can just back on out. Now just hit start and go to online and then go to the jobs. Play job and then go down to Rockstar Created. Go down to the Versus category and start up the mission Crooked Cop. Now to do the glitch you have to make sure you're the host of the mission. If you load into somebody else's lobby just back on out. If the alert screen pops up that there is no jobs currently going on just click host. Now once you load in you're going to go down to the clothing tab and switch it over to player owned. From here, you can just confirm the settings, you don't need to change anything else at all. Make your matchmaking open, and then turn on auto invite. You can invite all from your session and whoever you'd like, you just need at least one other player with you to start the mission. If you have a friend online to invite, you can do that as well. Once it starts up, you're going to see the menu to change your own outfits. Scroll through the options to equip the police officer belt or the vest. From there, once you've chosen the clothing item piece that you want on your outfit, go ahead and click ready to start up the mission. Do note that you can't have both the vest and the belt, so you have to choose one. Now once the mission starts up, you can open up your interactive menu. From there, go down to styles and go to accessories. Turn on any gear piece, you can turn on glasses, whatever, just equip some type of item from your menu. From there, back on out, open up your cell phone, and close out the mission. It will now load you back into a public lobby. You should now see the belt or the vest still equipped to your outfit. Next all you have to do is just save the outfit, whether it be at the clothing store or your apartment. Make sure you don't overwrite the previous glitched outfits, make the saved outfit as a brand new save. And then that's it. You have the police officer belt or the vest now on your current outfit. Now the nice part about this glitch is that you are able to change everything except for the shirt. If you change the shirt, the belt or the vest will go away. So yes, that means you can change the pants, the shoes, the gloves, the hat, the helmet, the mask, whatever, you name it, you can change everything except for the shirt itself. Now you can do the glitch infinite amount of times, even after you close out the game. To do it again, you can just create another outfit, whatever outfit you want the belt or the vest on, and save that outfit. From there, hit start, go to online and go to jobs, then go to play job. Go to Rockstar Created and go down to Versus and we're going to start up the Crooked Cop mission once again. We're going to do everything the exact same way we did the first time by making the clothing outfits as player owned. Make sure that you host your own lobby and do everything the same exact way. 
Now once you get players to join and the mission starts up, once again go down to the owned outfits and scroll between your outfits until you have the vest or the police officer belt on the outfit that you want. From there hit ready to play and same exact thing. When the mission starts up, open up your interactive menu, go to accessories and equip any type of gear or glasses. After you do, you can open up your cell phone and close out the mission. Now once you load back into a public lobby, all you have to do is just save the outfit again. So as I just showed, you can do this glitch as many times as you want, as long as you keep those two glitched saved outfits inside of your inventory of saved outfits. If you delete them, you'll have to do everything all over again. I do want to note for you guys, if you made it this far into the video, that if I do make any outfits using these belt or vest glitches, I will reference this video so you have a tutorial to fall back onto, instead of doing the entire tutorial in each video. That's it for this tutorial guys, I hope I helped you out, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask down below. I usually try to help out as many people as I can if you have any issues. My name is Muffly, and I'll see you badasses out in Los Santos.